there's nothing like working hard, going home tired, knowing that you don't have enough money to pay your bills. A lot of people are very surprised to learn that when you work a full-time job in the United States on minimum wage, that you still cannot pay the bills. Our economy does not work for so many Americans. And that in order to rebalance it, it can't just be small tweaks here and there. That it has to be a big idea. What if that idea was free cash for everyone? Stockton, California is a city on one end of America's income inequality problem. In the shadow of Silicon Valley, one of the wealthiest areas in the United States, almost a quarter of Stockton's population is living below the poverty line. That's about twice the national average. And according to the Federal Reserve Board, 40% of Americans can't cover a $400 emergency expense. So the city of Stockton, backed by private money, is setting up a radically simple experiment. Give 100 people $500 every month for a year and a half, and then, well, see what happens. So my rent was $432. My car payment was um, $246.81. My insurance for my car is $135. Probably groceries? Um, I ha we haven't got to groceries yet. Shay Holloman works at a local nonprofit, providing educational resources to Stockton's underserved communities. In her spare time, she drives for Uber and Lyft. So basically, when you're not sleeping, you're working. I'm working. And you're still struggling to eat. Still struggling, still struggling. Holloman has served time in prison, a fact of her past that makes it harder to find work. A quarter of the American workforce is on some form of public assistance and is barely making ends meet. That says that people cannot work any harder. And now we have to figure out how to make work pay and how to guarantee an income. Natalie Foster is a co-chair and founder of the Economic Security Project. The organization is backing the Stockton experiment with a million dollars in funding. Their goal? To test out a long-standing theory on a small scale. It's called universal basic income. So the universal basic income is guaranteeing everyone an income floor, saying that every month, here's money to use uh, with no strings attached. And the no strings attached, that's pretty important here and also a pretty radical idea. Implicit in the idea of a guaranteed income is trust. People know what they need best. They know what they need to spend their income on. There's been other experiments with guaranteed income in places like Finland, Kenya, and even Alaska. Some have imposed rules. In Finland, only the unemployed received money. In Cambodia, it went to mothers. But there's no country in the world with a universal basic income. Foster and her team wanted to try a similar experiment in an American city. You're 27? Yeah. 27, homeowner, mayor, husband. Yeah, I'm a old man. <laughs> Michael Tubbs is the mayor of Stockton. When he heard about the idea, he knew Stockton could be just the place. We have a bunch of folks starting off life already behind and then born into communities that currently don't have a lot of opportunity which makes it hard for them to break out. Historically, our perception has been a town that's miserable or violent or bankrupt. Growing up, my mom always said, you have to get out of Stockton. That meant you were successful. I want Stockton to be a community of opportunity that folks what to live in. How personal is this demonstration for you? For me, it's very personal. I, I grew up in poverty and then working class. I, I remember being a kid who, who was hungry with a mom who was working or, or seeing my mom stress about bills and, and knowing that's an experience not just of the poor or the working poor, but also folks who are middle class. The Stockton pilot is still in its design phase. There are still questions like who should receive the money and what kind of data will be gathered. In the end, only 100 people will be part of the program. That's a tiny fraction of Stockton's more than 300,000 residents. There's a lot of people out there who are critical of this program and they think that low-income families, that they don't have the discipline or the experience with money mm -hmm. to handle it. When I think of the people I know who are in poverty or working class, they could they're really good at stretching what they have to pay bills and make ends meet, and it's not easy. If you give people money, they will probably be better money managers than we think. Great, right, Papa. Nobody could live off $500 a month, but when you actually give this to people who are struggling, they're going to be like, okay, 
I got this money, you know, here, this is gonna be put aside for my rent, for my gas, but I still gotta go to work. Luis Angel also works two jobs, helping Stockton's underserved youth during the day and cutting hair at night. He plans to apply for the free cash. He says the extra money could help, but knows it doesn't replace a paycheck. Because you gotta pay for groceries, you gotta pay diapers. You know, a baby costs a hell of money. So it takes up all my money. I'd be able to spend more time with my son. For Angel, extra money means less work and more family time. Those types of choices are at the heart of what the Stockton experiment is trying to learn. What do people do with their free cash? It could be a little scary. It's saying, hey, I don't know what's best for you in your situation. I do know opportunity is a good thing. I do know that cash helps. I do know that people are struggling in this economy. So here's $500 for you to be the architect and agent of your own life and do what's best for you. It's such an honor to have little old Stockton, California, be almost ground zero for this discussion and around what's the economic floor people deserve in this country.